focus on your breath. And if anything else comes up, regard it as, as the Buddha said, as a debt, as imprisonment, as a path through a poor wilderness. In other words, a place that's not really good to be. You're trying to free your mind from those kind of states. And yet we take them as our friends. As the Buddha said, we go around with craving as our companion. And we think it's our friend. And as John Swat liked to point out many times, we have it all backwards. We think of craving as our friend and pain as our enemy. Whereas we can take pain to be our teacher and realize that craving is what's causing all the trouble. So look into this thirst you have for other kinds of thoughts. We feed the mind and the breath, we feed the mind and the sense of well-being, so you're not so hungry all the time. And so you have the ability to put up some resistance to the temptation to just go running with whatever thought comes around and looks promising or looks entertaining. It's like people who used to just eat whatever is in the garbage can. And then they finally get introduced to good food. They don't want to go back to the garbage can. That should be the attitude you have. And if you still have some impulses to go back, you have to ask yourself, why? What you get out of this? And again, see it as imprisonment. See it as slavery, the Buddha said. You're going to buy yourself out of slavery. You're going to free yourself from the prison. That's the kind of independence that really makes a difference. All too often we see independence as being independent from somebody else. But then if we're still a slave to craving, as the Buddha said, we're not much better off. Think of a John Lee's teaching about being a slave to the Buddha. When you practice, you're following the Buddha's instructions, but the Buddha's teaching you this. He wants you to get out of slavery so you can be independent so you can depend on yourself. We depend on the Buddha, we depend on the, the lineage of teachers, because they've sh shown us the way. They teach us things that we wouldn't be able to figure out on our own. But they don't want to keep us as, as their slaves. They want us to be free, just as they found freedom. So when you find yourself going for lust or for anger or for greed, for worry, Whatever it is the mind likes to feed on off on the side, realize it's imprisonment, it's slavery. And here you have the opportunity to be free.